Hello, my name is Prashant and I'm a technical marketing engineer in Cisco's SD-WAN product team. In this demo, we're going to explore Cisco's newest feature which helps to ease network administration for large SD-WAN deployments spanning multiple geographical locations. The role-based access control based on resource groups. Before we get into the demo, let's look at some context. In large SD-WAN deployments spanning multiple geographical locations where there are thousands of edge devices, the network administration is a huge challenge. Enterprises are required to follow standard practices and have security policies in place to remain compliant with the latest industry standards. Therefore, ensuring network compliance has become a priority for our network administrators. To do this in large networks is an arduous task. Also, in the case of data breaches and other security incidents, the blast perimeter has to be minimized or limited to only some sites so that the entire network is not compromised. The question is, how can we overcome these challenges? This is where the RBAC-based resource groups feature comes in. It classifies the system resources into different groups. Each group is administrated by its own admin for day-to-day -day operations, while a global admin can oversee the entire network. This simplifies the network administration, restricts the blast parameter to a specific group, and helps meet compliance requirements. To begin with, let's clarify some terminology. Resources include edge devices and templates. Resources and users are classified into resource groups. Users in a resource group have access to resources in the same resource group only. Resource group defines which resources the user has access to, while user group defines the level of access. The global admin is also part of a resource group, the global resource group. The global resource group is the default resource group. Initially, all users and resources are part of this resource group. Users within this group, that is the global admin, have full access to all the resources. All other users have read-only access to resources in this group. System default user, admin, is always in this group. All users and resources belong to exactly one resource group. The global admin can create templates which are read-only for the resource group admin. However, the resource group admin can make a copy of these templates and they will have read-write access to these copies. The resource group admin can also create templates to which the global admin will have read-write access. However, the resource group admin of another resource group will not have access to these templates. Templates, which are either created from scratch or by copying, belong to the resource group of the creator. The global admin has full access to all the policies. However, the resource group admin can only attach policies to device templates. The global admin can onboard the edge devices, whereas the resource group admin cannot. In this demo, there are three devices across two sites, site ID 100 and site ID 400. Initially, there is only a global resource group and all the templates are part of this group. The global admin has full access to all these devices and templates. The global admin can also create and manage policies. Let us define two new resource groups, one for the Americas region and the other for the APJC region. Site 100 is assigned to Americas region and site 400 is assigned to the APJC region. Let us create the resource group admin for these two resource groups. Both these admins are part of the user group resource group admin, which means they have full access to all the resources in their respective resource groups. The resource group admin for the Americas resource group has access to devices in site 100 only. They have read-only access to all the templates in the global resource group and have no access to the policies menu. Similarly, the resource group admin for the APJC resource group has access to devices in site 400 only. They have read-only access to all the templates in the global resource group. As the resource group admin for the APJC resource group, let us create a device template. This templates belongs to the resource group APJC. 
the resource group admin for the APJC resource group has full access to this template. This resource group admin also does not have access to the policy menu. As the resource group admin for the Americas resource group, let us create a device feature template and select a policy in the additional template section. Keep in mind that the resource group admin does not have access to the policies menu but can use the available policies. This template belongs to the resource group Americas. The resource group admin for Americas resource group has full access to this template. The global admin can change the resource group of a template. Here the template resource group is changed from APJC to global and another template from Americas to APJC. The global admin has an option to select resource group views which helps to see the network from a resource group admin point of view. Here three resource groups are available. The global view is the view of the global admin which is the default view. The Americas and the APJC resource group views are also available to the global admin. If using an IDP with vManage, here are some things to consider. IDPs are aware only of groups. They do not know about user group and resource group. vManage receives a list of groups from IDP. vManage separates them into user groups and resource groups referring to its internal database. Hence, while using an IDP, the resource group has to be created as a group in IDP and as a resource group in vManage. RMAC based on site classifies the devices, templates, users into groups. Users configured with the resource group have full access based on the user group to the resources within that group. RBAC based on VPN classifies VPNs into groups. Users configured with the VPN group can access only the VPN dashboard in vManage and it is a read-only access. These two features are mutually exclusive. That is, if a VPN group is used, then user belongs to the global resource group. Provider manages controllers only, hence the feature is not applicable at the provider level. Tenant admin and their users have access to all the resource group RBAC features. Templates created by provider can be accessed by all tenant admins and their users. I'd like to thank you for joining me on this discussion and demo. Do check out our YouTube channel, Cisco SD-WAN and Cloud Networking for more feature demos.